Hi YouTubers and welcome back to part 3 Right then I think I've sussed this wiring out down here I have got spark off it I have got a black wire coming out the loom Yeah, which I think is an earth And the only wire I've got left over Is this Red with a green trace I don't know where that goes I have no idea But I have got spark on the bike deleted this lot and the other lot managed to get rid of that my ignition has turned up and guess what on the end of it is exactly the same plug as that so it won't plug in so what I've got to do I've un took them all out see I'm going to have to convert that to fit that so it's freezing cold outside so I'm going to go in the kitchen get the soldering iron out cut them off put new ones on one of these connectors here and hopefully it'll work here I've just got a little jumper on just to make sure it kills spark and yep, it kills spark. So I've got to wire this up to match that lot. Right, let me crack on with that. Right then, in a bit of warmth. So, them, I'll come off, put them on. Then I'll use this block to connect the ignition up. Lucky enough, I've got some of these. I've used in the past and they'll do the job for me so solder out soldering iron out let's just get these swapped over so half hour later they're all cut off and we have all the new ends put on so I'm going to go outside now and work out how this ignition will work now right. so we're outside and I've just connected it up like that just to check that it's going to work and it seems to be working so what I've got to do now is somewhere in your pocket is connect that up as it should be and then we should have ignition so we can turn the bike off when it's running all this I'm doing is just before I strip it all down to make sure everything works uh, once we've tackled that problem we have this lot here which no idea where that went what it done but we'll have a play around with that need to sort all these things out before we decide what we're going to do with the bike but yeah wiring always blows your mind and then to solder on my eyes ain't good enough now it took me a long time half hour to get them right but we've got them on so let me get this on now and i should be able to show you if it's working Right then, you're going to have to hold tight. Right, ignition off. No spark. Try and put the ignition on. Come on. I think. I don't know if you'll see that, but I think it's working. Well there you go, it's running on that ignition that we put in and as you can see, turn the key, it turns off. There we go, we've cracked that side of it. Right, let's find something else to do. Well, I've put a couple of hours in today. We've got the ignition on, we've got it running. 
or it's switching off I'm going to go right over Huggies because they've got that stuff still for sale I think they're putting it out today so if it's interesting I'll do a bit of videoing over there and see what I'm up to right locking up going right as you can see come over Huggies and again rid of some stuff and I'm going to have a route round and see what I can find yeah, some really nice stuff for Harley Davidson's but route through it see what you can find nice bars exhaust right. you get the general picture all new stuff tables of it floors covered in it all over there and there's happy Paul so hello Paul yeah. boo <laughs> yeah Paul owns Huggy Speed Shop right. I'm going to have a route through these drawers see what I can find Right. I'm going to have a route round Well I'm back from Muggies And this is what I've come back with Some uh, O-rings You never know when you're going to need them Some assorted springs you never know when you're going to need them Might sit there a while but They'll come in at some point we also picked up that nice filter there. Look pretty cool. Nice spring. Some uh, spark plug caps, which I picked up the other week and I'd left in the car. So yeah, this is how you accumulate your stock up. Getting your arse out and get it back. So, yeah, happy with what I picked up. Cost me a tenner. Yeah, well worth it. Right then, put my bargains away. I suppose we better start on some of this stuff here. So, I think we'll have the headlight out and see what we can see. See what we can find where this lot come from and what sort of switch it worked. Right, drop the headlight out. And this is what I found. This is exactly as it was. I haven't touched it. Just pulled this one out here. So we've got something here which might connect in to that one or that one. There's also this one here as well. In focus, blue one. Don't know what that is. And these, these here as well these wires here that have been cut that looks like I don't know, maybe a kill switch bit can't really see what that is but there's three of them there's a green up there as well but I've still got to find which one that come from it goes down there somewhere and I've got to find that. When I find that, I'll bring you back. Right then. This one here wasn't plugged into that. Plug that into that. Now I've got two wires here a bullet connector and a black and white that comes out of that. Now, down here, you probably can't see, can't get it there's the one for that green with a yellow stripe and this is a green if you'll focus green with a yellow stripe so we'll plug that in and in here deep in here i think there's a black with a white stripe so we'll go for that but the way it's going i'm seeing 
the whole lot of this has got to come off so I can really see the wiring. The other wire, this one here, I found out where that plugs in. That plugs in there, somewhere down here. But I don't know what it does. So that leaves somewhere in here that blue one. I'll have to fish around and see where that was supposed to go. Or is it just a separate thing? Don't know at the minute. But we're getting there. We're giving it a go. Right guys, it's another day. A bit wet, miserable today. But I've got a spare hour or two. So I think I'm going to crack on with this wiring. See if we can get anything working. I.e. indicators, backlight. See how far I can get with it. So I'll get this battery connected up. I'll start fishing around, see if I can find any power at the back end and the front end that will make things work. So let's crack on. Right then. Been messing around with this wiring at the back and we have a neutral light but now if it'll work I've got indicator and I have indicator light working and if I can swap it over hmm, I've got that side And that's all it. So you can see that that one's flashing on the light. Swap to the other side, and there you go. The other one's flashing. So we're making progress. But trying to remember all the wiring, I'm going to have to start labelling everything up for when it's stripped down, for when it goes back together. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. And as for that big bunch of wires that are hanging down here somewhere, down here, I've actually, for the switch, I've actually found one, but it's in China so I've ordered it for some of that 13 quid so hopefully this lot will be sorted and as for the blue one that I was on about found out where that plugged in I'm still making progress still scratching our head but we're getting there and that's what it's all about when you buy a piece of thing like this, people have been in it, messed with it, chopped it. It's always harder to sort of get to where you need to be with it. The bike's never going to be worth a fortune because it's just a copy. So it don't really matter what we do to it. We'll make try and make it look nice. As long as we're getting rides out of it and we got it legal. I'll be well happy. It'll be a cheap little bike in the end, as long as we don't get too mad. That we can have some fun on. Especially with the 125 engine in it. Okay folks. Right then. Thought I'd bring you back. Discovered something else. The three wires that we had down there. If you'll focus. Hang on a sec. These ones here, that we didn't know where they went to and got bits cut off. Well, I know what they are now, and I'll show you. Well, best switch it on, I think. Just hang on. Or is it switched on? Right. It was for them. 
Oh, is it going to be awkward? There we go. I'll just go connect that bit to later. So, yeah, we've got front indicators. Oh, that's working now. Other side. There we go. And while I was messing around, we have back indicator mounted on, working, and that one as well. So we've made progress. We're sorting the wire out as we go. Still got to mess with try and find out what works the backlight. We've got some wires here. But we'll have a mess with them next, I think. Yeah, but even on the dash, it's working. There you go. I've just got to tighten up the bullet connector on that one. Yeah, making progress. As for the actual lights, this switch here, I think when we get the other switch, it will feed power to this one to make the lights work. Because I've got an orange wire there, which is live. And I think when it goes through the loom, it will put this live and it'll be working. So that's a couple of weeks away. So, where should we go next with it? Right, I've decided to mess with this backlight that I'm going to use. I've had a poke around with the wiring. And this is what I'll come up with. Pull the front brake and that comes on. So that only leaves when the bike's running the light to be on which all comes down to I reckon that other switch to bring everything active on that side of the bike but yeah happy pull brake brake light works right I'm going to wrap this video up now and it'll probably be another couple of weeks before we can get back on it to get the rest of it working so I'm down I'm gone. Thanks for watching.